Hi guys, Jimmy from Boxing Life and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to just address an interview Canelo did with ES News and also some tweets and interviews Ryan Garcia has given since. And it's basically around Ryan Garcia's departure and, you know, it's quite an interesting interview. I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, Canelo also talks about, you know, the other super middleweights having to face each other before he fights them. But getting back onto topic, uh, one of the things he was saying, referring to in this interview was lack of discipline, potentially, from Ryan Garcia. And basically saying, you know, if you're disciplined and you're coming to the gym, Eddie will have the time for you. I actually agree with that. I think the more time you're going to the gym, the more time you're showing up, Coaches are going to recognise that. They're going to recognise you're putting in the effort. You know, it's at the end of the day, it's down to the fighter to put in the effort and have the discipline to turn up. And he was all what well, he was also implying. You know, Ryan Garcia was maybe coming at different times to when Eddie was there. So you know, of course, he wasn't going to see Eddie. Also, that you know, he might come one day for twenty minutes and then not someone might not show up for two or three days after that so make of that what you want you know maybe that wasn't directly at Ryan Garcia but in, in terms of the topic that we're talking about it, it really did imply that it was probably Ryan Garcia and going on to Ryan Garcia obviously he's responded since this interview came out from Canelo and obviously Canelo in the past has also said about you know how Ryan needs to have more discipline and he clearly cares about him, you know, I don't think someone of Canelo's stature would come out and say these things if he didn't care about them. I think, you know, Ryan's still a young boy at the end of the day, he's still a young kid growing up. Yes, he's a father. Yes, he has all this fame and attention um, and money. It must be hard, you know, it must be really hard for a kid growing up with all that and a lot of pressure under his shoulders to perform. But... This is why, you know, if you're in this game, that's when, you know, you're going to, if you're, if you're in this game and you want to get to the top, that's what it's going to be like. And, you know, I think maybe some guys are just better at handling that type of stuff outside the ring better, you know, instead of, you know, blaming the trainer for it, you know, or blaming the trainer for not giving you the time for making sure that you're performing at your best level. It's just an interesting, I felt, how Canelo was so open about it. And the thing for me that really stood out was just the whole discipline thing and how he also mentioned how he said, ask any of the other fighters here. You know, they're all, you know, they all saw it towards Ryan Garcia. I guess that's who he was implying it towards. But since then, you know, there's two sides to every coin. As with everything in life, Ryan Garcia... He's obviously had his mental health issues, he's come back, and like I said, you know, just before, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders uh, for a kid of such a young age, and he came out and tweeted the following, Canelo doesn't know the facts, the first camp I had with Eddie was great, then everything went bad, he only showed up two weeks before the Fonseca fight, that's when I first asked my manager to talk to him about finding a new trainer. Virgil Ortiz left because Eddie never showed. And then he continued the tweet in a thread. Frank Sanchez had a fight where Eddie only showed up the day of the fight. So ask Canelo to explain that. Let's stop the back and forth and focus on the fights at hand. By the way, got nothing but respect for Eddie. It's just the truth. Now, maybe, yeah, you know, I think, I think with trainers, especially at this high level, you know, especially when they have lots of fighters... It can be very hard for them to pick and choose who they train in terms of when a fight's coming up. But I doubt, I really highly doubt, Frank Sanchez only saw Eddie before the day of the fight or on the lead up to that fight, you know. Um, I I don't really believe that. And as well, I love how in these tweets, you know, he kind of, he kind of has a dig at Eddie in the tweets. But then at the very end... Um, He's like, I've got nothing res but respect for Eddie. It's just the truth. You know, it's like typical gaslighting, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and it, it, it kind of makes him, personally for me, I think it makes him look a bit bad uh, tweeting the, those things. You know, I feel even Canelo 
maybe Canelo shouldn't have said those things, but I think, you know, I think he just cares about him, you know. I think um, he obviously took him under his wing when he was in there and looked after him and helped him out. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, your closest friends will tell you the things you don't want to hear. And, and I think this is very much the case here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Team Canelo and Eddie are just weren't giving him the time of day. But I'm more inclined to think that it's more around actually Canelo caring for him and wanting him to perform and become the best fighter he can possibly be. But unfortunately for Ryan, I think he has deeper issues he needs to get through. But, you know, obviously he's gone with Joe Goosen. It'll be interesting to see how he gets on under him. He's got a fight against uh, Tag Tago. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So, sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Yeah, I think this will be a good fight for Ryan Garcia to get back into the mix of things and start working his way up. I think he's an exciting fighter. I think he's got good power. Um, personally, I don't think the style of fighting under Team Canelo was really suited for Ryan Garcia. So I think this might actually help him maybe in some areas uh, using his longer reach and jab and counter shots um, he's got that deadly left hook obviously so I really hope he kind of moves on from this for the better and gets some big fights now um, the other thing about Ryan Garcia you know I feel that he's very quick and easy to call out other guys on social media and this is where he kind of gets this you know, he's just a kind of YouTube boxer kind of label put on him sometimes, which is a shame. But, you know, he puts himself in this situation. Uh, but uh, it's like the great Andrew Ward quote where he says, You don't have to announce you're coming. Just come. You don't have to announce I'm next. Just be next. You don't have to scream, give me my respect. You have to earn that. You know, he needs to stop shouting. He just needs to put in the work now move on from this and let's see where he goes but like I said uh, it will be an interesting I think we need to see how he develops under Joe Goosen now and you know <laughs> be interesting to see how long he stays with him you know <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you think Canelo was right about what he said about Ryan Garcia or do you think Ryan Garcia is right about Team Canelo maybe not putting as much attention on him Comment below the guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.